Hello there everybody, my name is Becca with De La Plants. Today, I am going to be filming a fun little video as usual. My hair has been in a beret all day, so you know, if I have a little weird crease on my bangs, don't worry about it, it's fine. Nothing weird is going on, I was just wearing a beret. Back to what we're talking about here. Um, hmm. Small space planting. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to be talking about owning a lot of house plants in a very small space, which I think that my roommate and I have really done a great job with. We have, I don't know how many plants we have actually, I haven't counted. I feel like it would be really exhausting and it's kind of like a really weird flex. I'm going to be talking about how we have maximized our space to allow for so many plants to be here, to live with us, and yeah, so let's get right into it. My number one tip for planting in a small space would be utilizing vertical space. So even though the floor is small, we don't have that much square footage around, we definitely have wall space. So what we have done is we are hanging a lot of plants. There are, I, I'm really bad at counting my plants, but there's quite a few hanging plants in my house right now. My roommate or I made all of the hanging planters, so it's definitely not something that we went out and splurged on. You can actually see a video of mine. It's one of my first videos. Though we don't have that much space on the floor, we've got lots of space in the air, and I'm definitely willing to share my head space with a plant. So not only does that free up a lot of space on the floor, but it is actually really, really visually appealing, and definitely gives my house like a totally jungle vibes, which is a new thing that I have learned is a thing. Jungalo vibes. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's incredible. It's a hashtag on Instagram. Jungalo vibes, jungalo home. It's awesome. So anyway, make some hangers, make some shelves. We have not, we've actually talked about making shelves so many times, like tiered shelves. And I see other people do it on Instagram and they're so good at it. And I just don't have a drill. <sighs> It's just something that I need to work on. So once I get a drill or something to put holes in the wood, I will definitely be making some shelves to put in front of a window. I'm really excited about it. Another thing that I would love to incorporate in my home is those Wally Grow wall planters. So you can basically plant a plant into the planter or you can just use it as like a little holder so you put the plant in the pot and then put it in the planter this is very confusing but so yes use your vertical space use your walls use your ceilings and that will definitely optimize your plant numbers hmm. when you live in a small house you likely don't have a ton of windows or if you do have a lot of windows they're all in one space like concentrated so for us we've got a huge north facing window and one tiny little east facing window and we have maxed out those windows with plants and that is just how it has to be in our house until I bought something called a grow the grow light really changed a lot of things for my plants lives because I don't have to have so many plants concentrated in the windowsills and hanging so it has allowed me to use some of my floor space for my bigger plants you can put a grow light and like install it into your bookshelves you can have a one like hanging like a pendant light that's what I have and it has just really changed so much for me I have been using my plants sort of as decoration pieces so we don't have a ton of art on the wall there are a few pieces but mostly our art is our plants and I just use my plants as a focal piece in my home so they're not just something shoved in the corner but they're really like the focus of my home and what I want people to really see using my plants as decoration has you know allowed me to buy more but also it's definitely allowed them to be a part of my house and definitely something that I would bring from place to place and incorporate in my decorations and the last tip that I have for owning a lot of plants in a small space is to utilize your outdoor space if you have it. So we have this big deck, which I record a lot of my videos on, and we have so many plants out here. If you saw my patio plant tour, then you will know there's a lot. And um, there would just be no way to keep all of these inside. And I also have a few of my tropical plants that I will bring outside sometimes, just so they can get more light or you know, maybe I just don't want them in my house right now. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit crowded and they work really well outside too. You can definitely put your plants out on your patio in the summertime. 
if there's a shade. I'd say a lot of our indoor houseplants get sunburned really easily. I left my Monstera out on my covered patio for like two hours and it got a sunburn like this big. <laughs> that went right over my mouth. That was not good and I was really sad about that. So definitely take precautions if you're going to put some of your plants outside. I know that a lot of people like Plantarina, I've never said that name out loud, but anyway, she puts a lot of her plants out on her patio and that allows her to have so many more because it's more space for plants. Nice. <laughs> that is what I have to say as far as tips for planting and owning houseplants in a really small space. If you liked this video or found it helpful, share it with a friend who lives in a tiny, tiny house. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.